of the Earth, the Southern Hemisphere experiences winter as we are further away from the sun. And obviously you'd have summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Now it's this gap changes between the sun and the Earth. So the creation of the nitrogen of this boundary interaction will have a different field strength. Summer in the, in the Southern Hemisphere means that this gap between the sun and the Earth is closer. So we've changed the conditions. And this change of condition means that the field strength of the nitrogen created at the boundary will be different. So every time this position between the sun and, and the earth um, changes, we know we change the condition. And so that means the field strength of the nitrogen, which is originally created, will be different at this boundary all the time. What I've done here, this is just for demonstration purposes. I just thought I'd try and do it because some people are, are very visual. And so what I've done is when you look at the horizontal axis, I've just got the four seasons. There's uh, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And the uh, vertical axis is just sort of the field strength of the nitrogen plasma. And so what I've just tried to uh, illustrate here with my nice squiggly lines is that in summertime, we would probably have a certain field strength of the nitrogen. And if you look at the winter, we would have a different field strength of the nitrogen plasma. So that's all that I'm trying to illustrate is that so throughout the year, this field strength of the nitrogen plasma is going to be different uh, all the time because of the changing in the condition. And then from that nitrogen plasma, we create the carbon and oxygen and hydrogen plasmas and so those, because they've create, been created from that nitrogen, they will also exhibit the different field strengths during the different seasons. So that graph is there just to sort of illustrate that as we change in the conditions, which is the, the distance between the sun and the earth, the nitrogen plasma um, field strength will be different all the time. So depending on the seasons, your nitrogen plasma of summer will have a different field strength to the rate of spring, autumn and winter. And just to reiterate, as the plasma of the carbon and oxygen and hydrogen are created from this plasma of nitrogen, these will also have the different field strengths according to this, these seasons, which are the gap between the sun and the earth. Now, when you look at the plants and the fields, the plants absorb specific fields at specific times of the year, same as, as us. There needs to be a matching field strength of what the plants needs and the field strength of the uh, cohans, the carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen that is created in our atmosphere. And the plants know this because it is linked into their DNA and RNA structure of the plant. Plants are very sensitive to these changes in the fields and will then only interact with those of a certain strength. So when I look, look at deciduous trees that lose their leaves in winter, it's because the field strength of the oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen that the tree was using to create CO2 has changed. So they shut the leaves down and the leaves drop off, uh, fall to the ground on the plants because there's just no match, and so they can't continue. Um, these changes in the fields also affect the ripening of fruit at certain times of the year. And this is something I'll go into a bit more detail um, on, next, um, on the next workshop. <clears throat> 